Oh my gosh, guys, it's actually happening. We are doing a face cam video where my hair isn't wet. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing a manga, anime, video game, uh, anime collectible reveal collection. Well, we're not going to be doing all my video games because I have way too many. I don't want to do a long video on that. But we're, we are going to do anime-related video games as a part of this video. But yeah, I'm super happy about this video. I want to do, like, one of these every year because I think that would be totally gas. But... We're just gonna get into this, I think. Um, I don't know if we're gonna like do random or we should. No, we're we're gonna do categories for everything. So, I think we'll start off with. Let's start off with anime-related Blu-rays because I have very limited of those. I don't have a lot of them. I only have two, and one of them is a anime. I consider it an anime, but I know some people don't. So there's that stipulation I guess so the first one is that anime it's Ruby volume 3 my favorite season of Ruby I used to be the biggest Ruby fan ever I loved Ruby as a series Ruby Rose was gas Ruby as a whole was just this fantastic series until it started to go downhill after volume 3 but besides that really did enjoy it I really like this art piece that kind of comes with it with Roby Rose it's just overall really cool I think you'll see quite a bit of Ruby merch because I used to be a Ruby addict <laughs> but yeah uh, I picked this up at like a used book DVD store pretty much for eight bucks it was pretty good worth the price would buy again even though I probably won't watch it through the DVD just having the case and the collectibles it is a little bit damaged up there though so there is that but yeah coming up next we have a Christmas gift I got which is a silent voice and oh my gosh I'm just happy I own this honestly a silent voice is probably my favorite movie of all time so to have the DVD is crazy to me um, again it, it just looks gas overall and it is a gas film, which I highly recommend to anybody who has yet to see it. It is amazing. Like, totally awesome. But yeah, so that's my Blu-ray collection. I know, disappointing. I'm not, I don't have enough money to go out of my way and buy 100 Blu-rays. So, yeah, there's the Blu-rays. Let's put them down there. Next, let's get into the anime-related video games, because I have so few of those, I only have two. And the first one is Tales of Zestria for the PS4. I picked this up at GameStop. Um, I've played it once. It wasn't very good. Moving on. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't get too deep into the story, but I do remember the anime, which was alright, I guess. But anyway, moving on, we have the Full Metal Alchemist 2 Curse of the Crimson Elixir. Now this game I have yet to play. I do own a PS2 and I've been wanting to play it. Maybe we'll do like some type of stream on Twitch where we get to play this for the first time. It comes with like, I, I bought this on OfferUp. It comes with a um, like actual DVD. So an actual two episodes of the series from season two. Um, and then we also get the game itself. And the game looks fun. That's why I bought it. I think I got it for like 12 bucks on OfferUp. But yeah, so that's the collection of the games that we have for anime and manga. But now it's time to get into the light novels, the part everybody's been waiting for, because everybody loves some light novels. Now I have a total of three light novels here on the channel, and we're going to get into all those. So first up, let's do some Bleach. So we got two light novels for Bleach. We have the first Camp for Your Own World light novel, which I've read this whole book. Phenomenal. One of the best novels I've ever read, if not the best novel I've read, if it wasn't for Volume 2 of Can't Fear Your Own World. But um, the final book out of the three light novels is actually from Seth Lee, or Seth the Sin, the homie. I had to pick up his light novel. I have yet to finish it. I'm actually very early on in the book still. I've just been too busy to be able to get my chance to read it. But from what I've read, it's actually a really good story. I'm happy to own the physical copy. Um, but yeah, that, that's Gang Floyd Justice. It's gas. Get it? It will have a link in the description because we got to show some love to the homie Seth for real. So yeah, we got those. Those are the light novels. Now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. So, to begin the manga collection. 
we have Chainsaw Man Volume 4. Now, I actually do need to get a new copy of this because it got a little bit of damage from when I was reading it. I bought this when I first started getting into Chainsaw Man. Definitely don't regret it. I might not get a new copy, but I just don't like damage, like water damage on my pages. I don't know what it is about me. I just don't like seeing it. But, um, great story. That's why I bought it. I love Chainsaw Man to death. I got the Aki cover because Aki's my favorite character. And yeah, so that's Volume 4 of Chainsaw Man. Great series. Check it out. Trust me. Okay. Coming up next, we have the first volume of K-On. I picked this up at the used place where I got Ruby Season 3. And I don't regret it because I love K-On as a series. The manga is better than the anime. I know a lot of people disagree with that. But I love K-On. This really sparked my love for the series. And yeah, it's just a gas manga. Highly recommend it. Um, it's just funny. And it's just adorable. So peep it. Take a look at it. Go check it out. Anyway, next manga we have Bleach Volume 32. No reason pick this up at half price books uh, randomly for five bucks. I kind of regret it for the only reason because I bought this. So now I have a duplicate of a volume. But yeah, this, now this is worth every penny. We got box set two for Bleach which I love. It's volumes 22 through 48, or the entirety of the Iran arc. And let me tell you, it's so... This is my second box set. And the artwork is incredible. And so is all the volumes. Oh my gosh, it's so gas. I love this. It's probably my second favorite piece of my collection. Only because the first one is another box set for the same series. So I'm only missing the third box set, I mean the first box set in Bleach. I have the third one right here. And the third one is about Thousand Year Blood War and Full Burn Arc. And it is beautiful in art. Oh my gosh. It's 49 through 74. So it's up to the final uh, volume. And again, it looks beautiful with the artwork. This is my child. Don't If, if you rob me... Just don't steal this. You can steal anything else. Just not this, please. Anything but this. Seriously. <laughs> you, you you even look at this and you're losing your eyes for real. <laughs> but yeah, I love the artwork. Got the captains on the back. This box set is just amazing. I got this for Christmas when I got the Silent Voice DVD. So definitely don't regret getting this. For real, for real. <laughs> anyway, let's get into some of the individual volumes. Actually, no, we have one more box set left that I got like two years ago for my second favorite series of all time. If not first, it's always between this and Bleach, but A Silent Voice. Uh, the box set is beautiful. It's small, and I think this was 50 bucks on Amazon when I got it. Um, it comes with seven volumes. The little, a little small edition of a... Of, uh, like a communication book which is from the series that uh, Shoko uses but yeah it's it's amazing I love this series to death Silent Voice means so much to me it is such a fantastic series and I highly recommend it to anyone anyway next volume we got Black Butler volume 1 I picked this up when I picked up the uh, Bleach volume 32 site for like 5-6 bucks at half books half price so yeah that's the only reason why I got that. Then we got the best volume cover, in my opinion, My Hero Academia, volume 25. Yeah, I, I got this solely for the cover because this cover is phenomenal and I want it in my collection. Um, we also got volume 1 of My Hero Academia. Got this because it's the first volume. That's the only reason, because I wanted the first volume of the series. Because I really do like My Hero. Um... Do I like it a lot? Is it top 10 series for me? Heck no. Is it top 20? No. Uh, you'll have to find out when my 1k special comes up to see where exactly it is in my top 100. But is there somewhere? And I do like the series, so I do have two volumes in it. But yeah. Anyway, we now have the last bit of manga, I think. Yeah, do we have any more individual volumes? Nope. Okay. We have... Vinland Saga now. So I bought the entirety of Vinland Saga recently. We got volume one here. Hardcover. They're really nice. 
It's probably the most I've ever spent on manga, but... Do I regret it? Maybe a little, but not a lot. Uh, I love the series so far. I'm currently in... Um, here, here, here's book three. Book two is, like, on the bottom. Uh, that's book three. Um, I'm currently in love with the series. It's phenomenal. I'm on volume six of the series. So, yeah. Here's book five. We also got book four right here. But, yeah, and I have a bunch more. I have, see, like... I, I, I bought the whole set for real, so... I don't know what's going on in some of these covers, but they look gas, and I love the series enough to have gotten them, so, yeah. But anyway, we still got more sitting on this chair, but I think you guys get the point. Okay, next we have the Nezuko figurine. Now, I have an explanation for this, okay? Please, let me explain myself. I was making a video where I was going to buy a bunch of figurines that were off-brand. And I was going to, like, review them and explain their pros, their cons, what's up with them. But I only ever bought one of the figurines I needed for the video. So, that video is in the dumpster and I wasted money. I probably wouldn't have bought this. I'd rather have a manga of Demon Slayer than this figurine. But, oh well. Then we also have Koro Sensei Keychain for real. So, there's that. But, um... Yeah, I have a Ruby game down here, but I put a bunch of stuff over it, so I'm not going down there. We got the Ruby plushie. Like I said, I used to be an, uh, an insane fan of Ruby. Too insane. Then we also got Dio Bottle. Big Dio. There, this is a massive inside joke, and I'm not going to explain it, okay? We got the three posters in the back. And then we got... Toshiro Hitsugai Zanpakuto. And we have Renji Abarai's Zanpakuto. So, yeah. That's most of my artwork. I mean, manga. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I am missing. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's manga collection video. It might have dragged in some places, but I'm going to chop it up, try and make it as entertaining as possible, as lively as possible, but yeah. So, yeah, this is just everything I own, anime and manga related. I know it's not too much, I mean it's quite a bit, but like, there's a lot more people with a lot more. I do plan on expanding my manga collection. I normally get them as gifts or buy one or two volumes when I feel like it. Vinland Saga and the second Bleach Box set is probably the most I've spent on anime and manga. The rest were just gifts throughout the 17 years of life I've lived on this planet. I do got some anime t-shirts though. I got an Oto one and My Hero Academia one. And yeah, so... And the Strawman one. But thanks for watching. Bye bye And in the words of Ginichimaru... Bye-bye.